Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be working on a DIY. We're going to be doing a fluted credenza. So um, I was on Pinterest one day and I was looking at fluted credenzas to do, to get some inspiration from, and I saw this picture and I completely fell in love with it. Um, there is a blog with this picture. This girl pretty much, you know, put like step by step how she did it. And I'm so thankful for her because this is <laughs> the only way that I was able to do this confidently. Um, so, cause this is pretty much the biggest project that I've ever done so far. Hopefully, you know, later down the line, I can get, you know, more experience in my DIY project and doing bigger projects. But, um, so I followed this girl's blog and um, I pretty much did most of the steps and I just, you know, I did my own spin on it and all that. This is my favorite piece in the whole entire house. Um, but yeah, so as you guys know, I have this little home series, Home Sweet Home on my channel that I'm starting. And um, if you like seeing home renovations and if you like seeing DIY projects and crafts and stuff like that, and um, if you guys want to follow along, please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out and it really makes me happy when um, I see people um, following along with my home journey. So, um, so yeah, so why don't we stop talking and let's get started with this DIY. Hey guys, how are you? So we are at Home Depot. Um, we are gonna go to Home Depot to get some things cause we are going to be DIYing a fluted credenza, a sideboard, a buffet. Um, these normally run like $2,000. So we're going to make one ourselves. So um, I already have the base and I brought one of the doors with me so we can get the exact measurements of all the supplies that we need. So yeah, so let's go. Hey guys, so I got my materials. I got wood that is already cut and it's man at Home Depot will cut them for me. Um, so we have that, we have some wood glue, um, sandpaper, cloth, and, um, uh, stainer, wood stain. Um, the only thing that I really couldn't find was the half moldings, the dowels. Um, I couldn't find them at Home Depot or Lowe's, so, um, tomorrow I'll try to go elsewhere. And try finding them there. Um, if not, I will probably go to Michael's because they have foam dowels. Um, so I'll probably end up doing that. But right now, I am taking off the stickers um, just so that they can be prepped and ready to go for tomorrow. Um, I don't know why they put the stickers on the smooth surface rather than the rough surface. So that's what's very annoying but um yeah hey guys so day two of getting supplies um no luck in finding the dowels um michael does sell them but the michael that is a buy me does not sell them so i just ended up ordering it online and um it'll be shipped to me in a couple days but i did get some paint brushes and ooh, and um some paint because later during this week i am going to be painting um some vases and um so that'll be like a fun little project but right now we are gonna go and set up um to paint the perimeter of the doors and then staining the wood. So I am going to sand out the edges so I can get them ready for painting. I'm just using 100 grit.
came back with new school. The DIY um, blog that I'm going off of, I decided to grab the exact paint stains um, that they used. So they used this one by Simply White. This one is Weathered Oak. And this one is Golden Oak. Okay, I got my pre-stain and I got my clear top coat. We're gonna do this driftwood again. So this is the one that I stained. And use the other side so I'm going to um, do like little bits because of the fact that I didn't do that on the other side but um, I'm gonna try to do it this side this way <clears throat> so that if I'm gonna try a different couple of different of combinations of this three stains on here Okay. So I'm going to try them out and I'll be right back. So I did my three stains. I kind of like these two. This is just way too white for me. So this first combination, the way that I did it, I did um, simple, simply white, golden oak, and then weathered oak on this one. This one I did um golden oak simply white and then weathered oak this one was weathered oak golden oak and simply simply white okay so i just put the um stain conditioner so like prepping for it um for the stain so as you can see right now it's definitely different shades like my woods are different shades so i'm a little nervous but um i'm just gonna wipe it off and let it fully dry okay guys so this is golden oak um i just took out wiped the rest of it off and i'm really happy with what it's looking like so far um it does like a little darker on camera but it's like pretty light and so um it's just like this middle board it's like really dark but it's pretty though um but yeah so i'm gonna go on with simply bite next okay guys so this is Simply white is on, this is the second coat. And so the third coat I'm gonna put is weathered oak. Um, I'm really liking the wood, it looks really nice. Um, so yeah. All right guys, so this is the wood fully coated with all the three stains. Um, I'm gonna have to wait four hours to um, put the top coat on. But yeah, this is looking very nice. Good morning, guys. It is day three of this project. So as you can see, I have my base. I have it there ready. I sanded it, I cleaned it, I wiped it down. We had it all prepped to be painted today. So we are going to be painting it um, the green color. I'm so excited. Um, then we are going to be doing um, the doors, so gluing the wood on. Um, so we're gonna be doing a lot today, so which I'm pretty excited about. So let's get started. So while I'm painting, I realized that I didn't tell you what my base is. So this is an IKEA Besta TV unit and I got it from Facebook Marketplace. Alright, so while the um, unit is 
drying we are going to get started on the doors so this is the style that i want my doors to look like so we're just going to be using some gorilla wood glue and we are going to glue down all these wood pieces and then after that we are going to put something heavy like coasters um i'm going to do some weights as well um to, on top of the wood just so that the glue can adhere better are the dowels they're a little squishy but um uh, so we are going to i have my door here um you remember this is my door and we're going to pretty much do measurements and we're gonna pre-cut everything now and then we will go on to painting Just put the first one in. It's very nice and snug. So I'm pretty much going to just take this out and we're just pretty much gonna, you know, do it like that. So the technique that I'm about to show you is just a straight no, like don't do it. Um, I was doing this and all my dowels were like short, tall, like it was just mess. They were not the same size. Um, so I ended up just doing the technique that I showed you at first, um, where I measured it on the door, marked it with the Sharpie and did it that way. That is the most effective way. Um, so please just do it that way. This way that I'm showing you guys right now, I ended up having to buy some more um, because they were so bad. So this is what it's looking so far. So I'm going to continue doing that. And once I back on the finish bottom, I will come back. Good morning guys. So today is the day we are going to finish this credenza. So I bought um, I went to Michael's and I got some paint to paint the dowels. We're going to do that today. Hopefully that'll dry. Then we'll be able to glue it on the doors, throw the doors on the, the unit, and um, put it on. So yeah, I'm so excited. My vision is coming to life. So excited. So yeah, let's get started. Right, so this is the paint colors that I use. I did use a little bit of green um, and this is the swatch that we made. Um, I really like it because it's like close to the wood color and I'm just very proud of that color. Um, so as you see here, we are just putting more paint in it because I wanted to make sure that we had like a big batch because I did not want to make multiple batches throughout um, because I didn't want the dowels to be like a shade off from each other. I did get the paints from Michaels and I will see if I can link the specific brand and specific colors down below.
All right, guys, so this is what they look like with natural sunlight. And I am actually so obsessed. It literally looks like wood. It does not look like any foam whatsoever. So I just put like clear enamel um, top coat on the dowels, obviously, to make sure they are safe and sealed so that they can always look like this. I'm so obsessed. So right now I'm gonna go grab some food, taking a little bit of break um, after painting. So we're just going to kind of just let this dry up a little bit and then we are going to bring them back and we are going to glue them. All right, so we're gonna start gluing these dowels on. So we are gonna be using some Gorilla Glue and we're just pretty much gonna be doing it one by one um, taking the dowel off, putting glue, and putting it back on. Um, as I said earlier, um, how some dowels were uneven, so I couldn't obviously replace all of them. Um, so I just replaced the worst ones and, you know, made them even. So um, that's why I have to glue them back on the specific spot that they were originally in. Um, but it was totally fine. It was time consuming, but um, at this point I was very excited um, because everything was coming together. So after gluing all of them down, we're just doing some touch-ups. Okay guys, so we are getting ready to install this. So I just did it the easiest way. Um, I did tape, I lined it to where the mounts are so um, that I can just take the tape and put it on the wall and it could be easily done like that. All right, so let me transfer this tape and let's get started. This is the beautiful credenza that I made that was under $400 to make. This is one of many more projects to come on this channel. So please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you on the next one.